what's up, boys? What's up? Yeah, yeah, what's up, YouTube? What's up, everybody? Alright, here we are. We in Mississippi, folks. Right up here, about a mile or so. We're going to be crossing over that mighty Mississippi River. Crossing into Louisiana. Yeah, yeah. So, yes, sir. Let's get that done. Yep, right around this corner here, folks. There we go. Whoa, yep. Kind of sharp curve. Got to slow down a little bit. I figured when that hurricane come through last week, they ought to, the water ought to be up now. Shouldn't be down low like it has been. Well, it's still down low. Shit, there's more sand down there than there is water. All that sand down there is normally underwater. Well, anyhow, folks, you, you, this is the mighty Mississippi River. And uh, we're getting ready to cross into Louisiana. Right here. Welcome to Louisiana. Look at all that. All that sand down there, that's normally underwater. The water normally goes up to the trees. So that's how low the Mississippi River is. That's low, folks. That's low. What's up, what's up folks? Yeah, yeah, what's up? I am uh, coming up to Halton, Louisiana. <coughs> yeah, need some more Dayquil. <coughs> but anyhow, coming up to Halton. Yeah, about 20 miles out from Halton, so yeah. We got uh, about three and a half hours to get to Dallas. I will make Dallas today. It will be dark, but I will get there. See, it's oversized right here, folks. I used to work for the same company. Pulled that same trailer a long time ago. Ten years ago. Now, uh, Ari Garrison breast cancer awareness. All right, folks, all right, all right. We on this 220 bypass around Shreveport. We're getting close to the Cross Lake. Yep, yep. Still got a good ways to go. Got about two and a half hours. And it is seven o'clock. Five minutes till seven, my time. So yeah, I'm not doing too well. I guess that's what happens when you you don't leave the truck stop till six o'clock in the morning. Then you gotta run till late at night. Stupid. I done it to myself. I took a 14 hour break last night, so I'm screwed today. Gotta work all night. I just don't wanna, you know. I got to get over here. I got to keep my place in the line of trucks. If I stop and then two trucks got past me, that's two trucks ahead of me that I'm waiting to get loaded before I can get my load. So I, I didn't want to take a chance. Uh, I know there's one 30 miles behind me. I know he's back there. And then uh, there's probably a couple more. I know there's one in front of me. There's one behind me. There's a couple more spread out, so I don't want all them to get around me and I have to wait on everybody to get loaded before I get a load. So I'm gonna suck it up. Look at that lake, ain't it pretty? It's like glass out across there today. Look at that. That's a good view. Use that as a screenshot. Use that as the, uh, whatchamacallit, the thumbnail. Yep, I got a picture of it. And other, the other one, picture was better. Oh yeah, I got me a thumbnail of the lake. Uh huh. But this is uh, Cross Lake is the name of this lake, folks. 
right here outside of Shreveport. This is Cross Lake. It's a big old lake, too. Uh-huh. Anywho. Alright, I'll get back with y'all a little bit. Alright, folks, right here is I-20. We get back on I-20 here. Yeah, well, yeah, Blue Jeep. We get back on I-20. And we have, yeah, 10 miles once we get on 20, we'll be in Texas. 10 miles, we'll be in Texas. We won't be in Dallas, but we'll be in Texas. Hey, folks, here we are coming into Texas. Yep, yep. <laughs> right up here is the state line. You'll see it. Right there is the sign. So, welcome to Texas, folks. We're now in Texas. Yep, yep. We are... Whew, still got a long way to go. We had the 635. Yeah, yeah. We still got about 200 miles. Hey, folks. We on this 175 now cutting across the 175 cut road here to cut across the 35 or the 45. You'll be seeing the Dallas skyline here shortly. Here's the skyline over there, folks. See that big red building over there? Yeah, the big red one. That's where the bus station is, right down at the bottom of that one. We'll be over there here soon. Yep, yeah, right there it is, folks. There's Dallas. But yeah, like I said, that big red building. That's where the bus station is. That's where I was at the other day, and I recorded the building was right there. Yep, yep. And it was green a minute ago. The building was, it was lit up green, and now it's lit up red. So, yeah, it must change every 30 minutes or every hour or something. I don't know. See, I think it'd have been nice to been down there. If I'd have been down there in the dark recording, that would have been cool. Be in downtown. Dallas under all the city lights but you know I don't know if it'd be so cool or not because every time I walked outside I had somebody bugging me for for something outside that bus station every time I walked outside but yeah right near that big red building again that's where the bus station is in Dallas All right, I'll get back with y'all folks here a little bit. All right, folks, here we are coming through downtown. Yep, yep. Oh, there's a big clock on that building over there. I never, well, I noticed it a couple weeks ago, but uh, like last week, I noticed it, I think. But anywho, hey, sir, we're getting there, folks. We're getting there. That thing is beautiful downtown here. It's all lit up. I don't care too much for it during the day, but when it's all lit up, it's purdy. Yeah, yeah. All right. Anywho, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. And here's this bridge I don't like. Just because I can see over the edge, and that's, uh, that's the only thing I can come up with. I can see over the edge down to the bottom, so I, I don't like it. But, yeah. Anyhow, here we are. Coming into town. Yep, yep. And go under the tunnel up here. There's her. There's the building. Yep, yep. All right, here's the tunnel, folks. I got to start working my way over. 
It's all backed up. Sheesh. That ain't over there right now. Look at that over there, folks. They got the blue cross and blue shield all lit up over there on the side of that one building. That's pretty cool. Well, where'd it go? It done disappeared now. Uh, yeah, well. That was pretty nifty. Alright. Oh, there it's coming back now. But uh, it's too late. Help, help. God, these headlights suck on this truck. Well, I can see as good with the headlights as y'all can on the camera. I mean, I'd be all right, but the camera, they show a lot better than what they actually are. Well, they barely shining on the road. But anywho, get all the way over there. There's three lanes. I need two more lanes at least. Oh, somebody there. Come on, you fools. Alright, alright. There we go. Now I can get on over here. And then we're going to hang out here to our exit. Yep, yep, let's go. Alright, folks, we're on 183 here. Uh, or 114, 180, yeah. Something like that. <coughs> we about a few miles, about five, six miles from our exit. Yep, yep. So let's go. Alright, folks, here we are. Here we are. Getting ready to get off our exit. Yep, yep. Right up here. Uh, Valley View Lane. That's where we're going to get off at. And yeah. We have made it. It is 9.55 p.m. before I got here. Lord, it's been a long day. But it is what it is. We have made it here. And, uh, yeah. Get off here, make the right, and second left, and we're on the yard. And that's where I'll stay for the night. Yep, yep. All right, folks. So let's do this. Fixing in front of me is going to the same place. I just hope it ain't one of our trucks. Well, he might not be. Yeah, never mind. He went on. He kept on going. So that's good. Either he's lost or yeah, he don't know where he's going. Now here we go, folks. 
Make it a left and then a right, and we're on there's the uh, drop yard at the building there. We just gotta get up in here. Yeah, that truck's turning around, so he must realize he passed it up. But anyhow, all right. Get up in the yard. And we're here, folks. There we go. Another load successfully delivered. Might not be my truck, but it's another load. Yep, yep. We are here. Let's go, let's go. Well, folks, as you see, I'm on the outbound side. That girl rejected me from going in because I don't have an orange vest or fluorescent vest. I told her, I said, my truck is broke down. I'm in a spare truck, and I got to go get all my stuff tomorrow out of the other truck. Well, I got to reject this load. Really? Over a damn orange vest? Are you serious right now? Luckily, a friend of mine was 30 minutes, not even 30 minutes, he was like 20 miles behind me, another one of our drivers. So he got off the exit here and he went down to the, the truck stop, which is three miles down the road from here. He went down there. He's gonna buy another vest. So yeah. He said he'll give me the one he's got because it's too big. And he's going to buy himself one that fits him. So, yeah. Then there's that. So, now I'm sitting here waiting on him to get here. He's down at the truck stop now. Alright, folks. It's the next morning. I'm headed over here to Kenworth where my truck's at. To where I can uh, swap everything from my truck to this truck. It's 30 miles over here. I'm bobtailing over here to get all this done. And then, uh, I got to go pick up a, a landing gear crank from utility before I come back. But yeah, got to remind myself get all my tools too because he wants me to work on shit. I got to have my tools, my drill and everything. Yep, well. Hey folks, I'm getting on I-20 East now off uh, I don't know what that was. But anyhow, yeah, this is 20 East. I got to go up here about 18 miles. I'm wearing a, my truck's hat. Yep, yep. Then got to turn around and go right back through the shit. Oh boy, here we go. Makes to be blinded. Blinded by the light. Oh my God. Here comes some traffic. Yep, yep. Yeah, you oh Lord, can you see? Can you see? Look at there, folks. Two brand new W9s. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They still building them. I thought they was done building them, but evidently not. But yeah, we are here. At Kenware, look, Corvette. We're here at Kenware. Gotta get my stuff out of my truck, wherever it is. Still inside. I don't think it's still inside. It was right in that bay, though. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, I still don't see it. Oh, there it is. I see it now. I can get up beside it. That's good. No, that ain't mine. Damn it.
Mine is the one that's pushed in there fucking backwards. Oh, shit. Well, we got to climb in and out. I was hoping I didn't have to do that. But anywho, maybe I can go inside and see if they'll come move that one W9 where I can pull up beside and get all my stuff. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go ask him. Yeah, I forgot my visor, buddy. Had to come back, but yeah. Got another look at these. W9. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, all right, folks. We are back to normal. Back on the mount. We headed back over here to the Dallas Yard now. I got to put a... Uh, the handle on the landing gear, that one landing gear, but uh, it is 12.30 my time. I come over here about 8.30 my time. So four hours. Really, uh, it's probably about two and a half, three hours to move. <laughs> the rest of that time I was at utility and doing some other stuff but anyhow we headed over here to get our trailer hopefully it's loaded so I can get on up out of here if, if, if not it's all good now folks we got a different view of the city coming into it from this angle normally don't come from this angle yeah, I can't see much now, but anywho, it's up there. Yep, yep. about six and a half miles up here to 183 where we catch 183 so until then we are drugging up oh. and we get on over here and normally I'll be coming in from over here in the right lanes is where I normally come up through here so yeah, it's different. But yeah, there's that big building, folks. That big tall one right there, right at the base of that is where the bus station is in Dallas. Ooh, ooh. of the lake from yesterday I was going to use for a thumbnail. So hell, I don't know what the hell I want to do now. I got a couple pictures for thumbnails. I just got to figure out which one looks the best. Yep, yep. See right here. Yep, this is where I normally join in on the 35 right here. And that's where I got to cross over all these lanes to get over to the left. Well, we already here. Back here, 
Yep, yep. We are back. Now I gotta put my vest on. If I can get it released. Oh, what the hell going on? Bitch was stuck to my seat. Arriving at Dallas Yard on the right. All right, folks. We are back. We're back. Yep, yep, we're back. Alright folks, that's going to be it for today's video. I'm sitting here waiting on my load. It's loaded. I'm just waiting on them to get it off the door. So yeah, if y'all made it this far, thanks for watching TTBE and we will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.